entrepreneurship sucks. And it sucks because there's always something wrong. There's always a problem. Entrepreneurship sucks because on a daily, weekly, monthly basis, there's shit to deal with. Here's how you make sure that you do what most people don't do. Why do most people fail at business? They give up. Why do they give up? Because they lack intestinal fortitude. Why lack intestinal fortitude? I don't know. I just know they give up. Why do they give up? I don't know. But I know this. If you're going to be an entrepreneur and your mindset is, hey, it's going to suck. Like, I'm going to have good days because it's a grind. Have you ever thought why most people don't do it? Like, do you ever take a step back and go, listen, I'm going to try to do something. Like, what person doesn't wake up and go, I want to be an entrepreneur? Like, I get to make my own schedule. You know, again, if you do it right, I get to make good money, right? Support my family, have freedom, time and, and, and money. Time and money. I can get those two things, which just about everybody I talk to wants. So you have to ask yourself, why are most people not seeking entrepreneurship? What sucks about it? There's always a mother freaking problem. Now, me... You know, when you listen to people talk, it's one thing about David Goggins, you'll hear him say, I deal everything head on because most people don't want to deal with shit. And I work harder to deal with it head on because it empowers other people. You're going to have problems. Inventory won't be there on time. Your accountant will, will, will do something and they'll project something. And then it's your fault too. You run the company like, oh shit, we don't have the money for that. Oh damn, I didn't know I owed that. Oh my God, look at the tax on that. Oh my God, that I didn't know that was going to happen to my to my my commercial property. Oh my God, I didn't know there was an extra cost that was. I I didn't realize we have to eat that inventory. Can we return it? No, we can't. God, I didn't know that. Well, oh my God, I didn't know they're going to reduce my credit limit. I don't have. Oh my God, I thought these guys were all going to like sell and that we're not moving any product. I thought the script was going to work. The bottom line is entrepreneurship sucks if you don't realize that if you become a problem solver, if you become a problem solver, and you decide. It's going to suck. I know it's going to suck. And then when people watch you, embrace that. So people always go, you always say it's going to be okay. It's always going to be fucking okay. Period. End of story. There are hundreds of thousands of people that die every day. And you're alive. That means you're doing really, really, really fucking well. It's going to be okay. So if people are mad about that, sorry, I'm not going to apologize. It's going to be okay. I think that way about myself. I know that it's going to be okay. I know I can be great at it. I know it's going to suck at times. I know it's going to feel real bad. I know it's going to feel like I'm getting punched in the stomach. And just keep fucking eating it up. Because the more problems you can solve and the more shit that you can persevere through, the better businessman you're going to become. Because then people are watching you and going, you know what? That guy's going to make it. You don't have to be perfect. You have to be resilient. And if you can deal with that, resiliency allows you to overcome any adversity in your business. Lack of res resiliency will ensure your failure. So entrepreneurship sucks when you don't realize and don't embrace that there's going to be a myriad of problems. And if you don't do that and you can't accept it, then you're going to fail. If you are not resilient by nature and don't want to build up your resiliency, don't become an entrepreneur. If you like to cry a lot when there's problems and like to do the whole, like, I can't get out of it, there's no way out of this. If you do this, there's just no way out of this. I'm never going to, then don't become an entrepreneur because you're in charge of at least you and you're listening to you when you're whining and other people are watching you because you're in charge of them too. And then like you have customers and like you can't live your life that way. It doesn't work. Like you can't put yourself in that position. So you want to make sure entrepreneurship doesn't suck. Be resilient. Don't be average. Embrace the up and ups and downs. Embrace the problems and realize that people are watching to see how you respond. That, if you do that, entrepreneurship is the opposite of sucking. It's fucking amazing.